The big idea this morning is to highlight hidden costs and opportunities we believe exists in every warehouse. The challenge for you is to think about the environments you work in and how you can use some of this technology and skills to improve your profitability and productivity. That to me is the challenge for today, is for you guys to walk away from here with something that you can benefit from in your own businesses. Uh, good morning, Andrew. The door is going up and down as we can see. Uh, can you tell us how a door like this can reduce warehouse costs? Fast operating speeds coupled with automatic opening and closing of our doors in factory and warehouse environment means improved efficiency. And quite simply, that means cost savings. The conveyor can unload or load 900 parcels an hour compared to 600 parcels an hour manual handling. As you can see, the red box has reached the top of the stairs. Mick, this is coming round the nap bend. Nap spelled with a K, of course. That's Tell us correct. more. The reason for using the conveyor, of course, is always let's not carry the product, let's transport it on a conveyor. Saves time, saves money, and also saves lots of back injuries, etc. Errors occur you know, in various parts of warehouse operations, so receiving, put away, uh, picking, dispatch, possibly stock checking. And wherever there's a corrective action required, there will be a cost. So the more errors you make, obviously, the higher the attributable cost. So what you're saying is that warehouse owners uh, and operators could actually be saving money they didn't even know they were wasting. Absolutely, Martin. Yeah, that's right. In a large operation, a large warehouse operation, the, the cost savings from error reduction alone can form a major justification for buying warehouse management systems. Mantra learners are doing the job, and I'm joined now by Richard Weston of Mantra. Uh, explain a little more about the learners. They're very, very important, don't they? Absolutely. One of the, the biggest hidden costs in any warehouse operation is unskilled and poorly trained staff. A mantra skilled operative can be 50% more productive than an untrained worker. Um, not only do we teach them how to do the job, we also teach them the important things uh, such as health and safety, working accurately, working efficiently, all skills that can have a big impact upon the bottom line. You can get a pallet throughput rate of 35 pallets per hour and the other criteria it can work in a 1.6 meter aisle off goes the red box to where we're going to go this truck mount terminal is used to eliminate use of paper uh, what this allows us to do, because it's real-time, it has a large screen on it, a big key badge, and, of course, a barcode scanner. So you get a lot of efficiencies. It's accurate. It takes out the human error that we tend to get. Sorry, guys. But it also allows us to be just that much more efficient and use our systems more efficiently. Now, the Flexi is now taking the red box with us to the dynamic storage section. And Graham Ramsey from Interroll, if I can just move out of Mike's way, he's coming up behind me, is here to explain the hidden costs that his solution can reduce. Thank you, Martin, and good morning. So Stuart on the Flexi truck is now uh, loading one of our pallet flow lanes. And here we're going to maximize the available storage area in an existing warehouse by having less aisles. Uh, because you only really need, at a minimum, a loading aisle and an unloading aisle, faster stock throughputs with minimum handling, a reduction of energy consumption, because everything we do is by gravity, so they're very green systems, and typical return on investment of under two years. Just to let you know, the, the, the key thing with labelling really is the type of material you use to manufacture the label, um, the barcode system that uh, we print onto it, it's very important. Um, how you, uh, where you label it, the location. Um, clearly, if you get the wrong label, you get the wrong barcode on it, you're not going to be able to find the pallet or the boxes that you're looking for within that system. Many businesses don't realise just how much energy the lighting in their warehouse is using. Uh, old uh, existing warehouse lighting can be incredibly inefficient. Uh, so there's a massive energy saving to be made by replacing it with more modern, energy-efficient alternatives. Uh, we typically save uh, roughly around 75% uh, for our customers when we replace their older lighting. Uh, some of our customers with bigger warehouses actually save upwards of £70,000 per year, uh, achieving a payback period in less than 12 months. 
With our theme today of reducing costs, it's important to mention that a correctly sprinkled building in the UK can benefit from insurance premium reductions of up to 90%. Injury to personnel and disruption to operations obviously carry considerable hidden costs, as well as being very unwelcome in a modern compliant warehouse. Here we see a fully welded steel mesh anti-collapse safety screen incorporating unique ultra-safe brackets. What uh, these new technologies provide is methods of reducing paperwork, reducing keyboard entry into, into the computer systems, uh, reduces time, reduces labour, and ultimately reduces costs. This is a demonstration of RFID technology. That bleep identified that box. I think there's no argument that a clean, well-kept uh, facility will be more efficient. Um, you get your resourcing wrong and you can bring costs and inefficiencies into your business. I mean, we've spent um, quite a lot of money over the last sort of five years developing ride-on machines. Uh, they're 35% more efficient, uh, productive, so they'll clean an area much, much quicker. But from an HR perspective, uh, it's better for the operator to be sitting on something than it is to be walking behind. How can this save your money? Well, this is the world's top-selling stretch-wrap system. It's renowned throughout the world for giving the greatest level of load security for the least amount of film applied. So savings are usually in excess of 50% against other methods, which can save several thousand pounds a year. Every piece of kit is designed to reduce the manual input for a battery transfer change, and also we can provide through a system of a saving of up to 80% on your premium floor space. Well, I was going to say, uh demonstrate it. Really, it's just going to make a, a, a big air-blowing noise, isn't it, essentially? Oh, it is. <laughs> so there we are, and actually I can feel the draft now. So this that's be, the, re this that's the, the recirculation of the internal air across the doorway, and it's that volume of air which is then going to stop the penetration of outdoor colder air into the building. Uh, I set up Pat Mill about five years ago. Prior to that, I used to run PricewaterhouseCoopers logistics consulting team. Before that one, I used to have a real job like most of you. Uh, I used to run distribution centres for ASDA. Um, what we do at Hamill is to help people manage change projects within their supply chain and logistics. What I'm going to talk about today, very much linked to a lot of the stuff you've seen in the train set, is how to improve your warehouse or how to move to a new warehouse and all the things that you need to take into account and look at the, the hidden costs, the opportunities that that provides and how to manage it in a, you know, as risk-free way as possible. I have one UK customer at the moment that currently does layer picking in a totally manual format. He's now moving to new premises. He's doubling the size of the operation. He's taking no more operators on and he will do his entire function with four of these machines. Cost-wise, it doesn't take a, a genius to work out the savings that we're talking about. <laughs> 